Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. Now, I'm just going to read a short portion of what I read before, the exact same sentence from Hebrews, because there's another part of that I wanted to deal with, and I didn't want to prolong the other video. So here we go, and then we'll back it up with Pat's two cents. Okay, Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6, verse 6a. <laughs> but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, I'm going to stop there because what came to me is when you're living a life of holiness, you're living a life of righteousness, it takes some serious faith when you know you have a human right to defend yourself when someone is coming at you for something you didn't even do or punishing you for a crime you didn't even know you committed. You know how people will do that to you. And you wonder, well, huh, what's that trip? Where'd that come from? You don't have a clue of what happened. But they are judging, condemning, and sentencing you. And you feel it every time you come around them. And you can't figure out why. Because they never bothered to come to you and tell you what their problem with you was. They might have just, somebody might have just lied on you. you. I mean, who knows? But one thing about it, when your faith is in God, and you really believe that when God says, I got your back, that he does, let me tell you this. God will defend you in ways that you don't even know. You can't even conceive of the ways God can can vindicate you. When his word says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Don't worry about all the nitwits that are coming against you because God's got, <laughs> he got something up his sleeve for them. You just do what you're doing to please God and mind your own business. There are times, even though it feels like that is your business, yeah, I know, but there are times when it really takes a monument of faith to keep your mouth shut. When you have a right to defend yourself and rise up and say, no, I didn't do that. No, why? Blah, 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 blah. Well, there are times when even Jesus didn't open his mouth. He, when they ask him, are you this? Are you? Well, thou sayest. In other words, well, you said that. I'm not saying a thing. So, and l listen, there was a time in uh, the Old Testament where uh, Moses, he was leading the people. Nathan and Abinam, Abiram, you know, we can never pronounce those names, rose up against him. And they were telling him, you know, you know, we don't need you to talk to us for God, you know, why can't we hear from, from him ourselves and blah, 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 blah. And you're not the only one, you know, you know how people will do you. Well, Moses said, look, i tell you what, I'm, I'm going to say it like we would in the streets after school. I'll meet you after school at 3.30 in the schoolyard. And then we'll see who's behind is still standing when it's all said and done. Well, what Moses told them was he didn't argue. He didn't defend himself. What he said was, meet me at this place at this time. It was around, it was like mid-afternoon. And he said, and God will decide who's who and what's what. That's the kind of faith Moses had. He didn't stand there and go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And some of y'all just need to shut your lips and let God handle it. Because you're making a bad situation worse. Do you hear me? Stop trying to defend your, your image, your name. Let God do it. He'll do a much better job than you will, baby. And the only one standing will be you when it's all said and done if you do it God's way. But it takes faith to do that. Uh, it really does. There have been times I'm telling you I felt like I felt like I could pull some of that old man back up and say, "Okay, 
I never forgot how to cuss somebody out now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And boy, I'm telling you, you just kind of either want to jump on them and choke them or, or let every word you say slice them down to bits. And then you feel the Holy Spirit rising up in you against your own nature telling you, step aside, I got this. I got this. You going to trust me? It takes faith to trust you guys. And God is saying, I got this. Are you going to trust me? You're going to let me handle this. You're going to give me a chance to move on this. Or are you going to get in my way and make matters worse? Because if you do that, I will lift my hand and let you have it your way. Now, which way do you want this? Now, this may be a word for somebody out there who's going through on their job or going through in their church or in their family, whatever the case may be. If somebody is rising up and coming against you, sweetheart, y'all, whoever you are, male or female, you had better pray before you say, because God may tell you to hush and not say one mumbling word, not give a grunt, not give a look, just walk away. Some of the smartest people are still living today because they walked away from a stupid confrontation that could have ended in death had they stayed and fought it out with a fool. Some fools carry deadly weapons, and I'm not just talking about guns. Don't deal with a fool. You leave a fool alone. You let them be a fool by themselves. You know what? I don't care how stupid a person is. Nobody can argue. T they can't argue with themselves. You need, just like fire, fire needs fuel. It needs the oxygen. It needs the, the, the accelerant. It needs something that to, 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 to burn on. If you don't give a fool something to burn, they they can't. They'll just stand there looking stupid or sounding stupid, but they can't do it for long because there's no fuel feeding it. You have to learn to have faith in God being on your side and pulling for you. Because God will make you come out smelling like a rose. He'll make you look like a genius, even if you don't know. Even if you're standing there saying, huh, what just happened? <laughs> and everybody's like, whoa, look at you. Oh, wow, that's a, now that's a together person. And you're standing there saying, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, you let God handle it. That's what you did. Okay, I think that's the message for this one. Whoever you are, you let God handle your business. Because if you do, baby, I do like my husband would do. <laughs> he would sit there with his eyes closed, lower his head and go, uh-uh, baby, it won't be good. So let God have it. The battle is the Lord's. Let it be his. And watch him win on your behalf. And then you come up smelling like a rose and looking like the hero or heroine. And God did it all. Isn't that beautiful?